Hey everybody, welcome back. If you are new, my name is Chris, and in the summer, I do perfume little chit chats outside by the pool wearing sunglasses. I'm trying to be good to the earth, and I'm using the sun as my lighting. And if I'm not wearing glasses, all I do is, is squint the entire time. So I'll be wearing sunglasses. I also like to, like to mix up the sunglasses. So if that's not your thing, everything gets moved back in September, so I'd love to see you back then. For the rest of you who are enjoying the sights and sounds of my backyard, and I'm telling you the birds are really out today. They are singing up a storm. I'm going to be talking about blueberry perfumes. I just did a community, like a survey yesterday on my YouTube. I already had planned to do my blueberry fragrance review. I'm doing single note perfume videos or review videos right now, and it looks like strawberry and mango are in the lead. Now, banana's happening. Banana's gonna happen in the next week or so. That doesn't mean just banana perfumes. It means anything that has a banana vibe. In fact, I think I only have one perfume that's like a banana gourmand. The rest of them are floral, florally bananas. So it'll be a good one. And then after that, looks like I'll be doing strawberry and mango and then maybe raspberry and some other notes as we move into the fall. And I will be hitting some floral. So I have my work cut out for me. Today I'm gonna do blueberry. Blueberry is a note I'm super fascinated with. I'm just really into blueberry perfumes this year. And it seems like blueberry perfumes are fragrances that I'm really collecting. In fact, a couple of these I broke my rule of non-blind buying of. So, so excited to get my hot little hands on them. Not all of these are loves and not all of these will probably stay in my collection after this video, we shall see. But I think I have around 10 to 12. And with that, I'm just gonna get started because as per usual, it is six o'clock in the PM and it is 89 degrees and it is 150% humidity. <laughs> I'm dying here, but I am here for you. So the first one I'm gonna start with is a new release by Pearlescent Fragrances and I just noticed I have a scratch on it. I must have scraped it. But it's Tonkazur. This is one of the ones I broke my no blind buy rule for. I was just so excited to get my hot little hands on this fragrance. This is not completely gourmand. This is a gourmand, but it's a not, it's not an overwhelming gourmand. So I don't know all the notes, but what I get from this is a blueberry, black currant champagne with rose water. So the champagne note is very, very prominent. Some people, it might be an acquired scent profile for some people, but it's very recognizable. Once you smell it, you're gonna start picking it up in other fragrances, but it's a very, it's a very bright, fresh, and slightly green note. It just gives fragrances a pop and a freshness, and sometimes it gives them a little bit of a little bubbly sparkle. Not super bubbly sparkly here, but I can still detect it nonetheless. This one gets deeper and a little bit darker in the dry down. So like a Tonka tobacco almond thing. So some gourmand notes and some notes to give it a little bit of depth and heft. And it gets slightly musky in the dry down. I have some fragrances in my little basket here that have terrible longevity and some that are bombs. This is on the longer side. I would say like six to eight hours. I would say this falls in the middle. It's not a skin scent and it's not a bomb. It's, it's quiet, but for me, if I spray it around 10 to 12 times, I got it to last all day and I'm really happy it's in my collection. The next one is a flanker of a fragrance that I just showed from my cotton candy video, Sugarful, which I really, really enjoy. And I've actually worn that fragrance a couple times since making that video. I sprayed my daughter. I sprayed her shirt and she came, She brought me the shirt the next day, put it in my nose and said, Mom, what did you spray me with yesterday? This smells so good. And I smelled it and I had to think about it for like five, 10 minutes. I'm like, oh, that's sugarfall. Man, that smells so good. So we both, that went from a strong like to a love. It's very, very fun. I have a rule. I'm not gonna buy full bottles unless I drain my sample first. But a little flanker that I had to get was called Sugarful Dreams. Now this is kind of a blueberry take on Sugarful. It's a little bit fresher. This is a this is a freshy version of Sugarful. It goes kind of veers out of the full-on gourmand. Thank you, birds. The birds are so cute singing to me. And it makes it very fresh. So this is like a fresh blueberry fresh laundry or like a blueberry fresh dryer sheet or laundry detergent. And I say that in the best way. So it's very clean, very bright, a little bit, it's a little bit fruity, has that blueberry thing going on. It's an, it's an easy wear, it's an easy reach, it's fresh. This one is probably not going to make it into a full bottle. It's just, it's not as appealing. I don't, 
it's not as appealing as sugarful is and this kind of falls into more of a generic a fun freshy now if i didn't have a huge collection this may very well be a full bottle and if you guys have a lot of niche perfumes you may find this a little too simple but i think it's a great fragrance and it has blueberries so i wanted to talk about it i did want to mention that sugarful dreams the longevity is not great. It's not the longest lasting perfume. I would say like two to four hours. If you've been with me for a long time, you knew this was going to happen. You were going to see Deep in Desire Yacht. Although this does not have blueberry note per se, it reads blueberry. This is a one of the best gourmand fragrances out there. This is the best gourmand blueberry fragrance in my opinion. This to me and to other people I know reads as a juicy, blueberry muffin dusted with hazelnut powder with some chocolate shavings and like crystallized grapefruit rind on the top. This does have a pretty prominent cedar note in the base which anchors it, gives it, gives it some structure. You can definitely smell that. This smells very similar to one umbrella for two. I've said that many, many times. That's why I don't have one umbrella for two. I prefer Deep and Desire Yacht and this thing is a monster. I've said it before, this is a 10 out of 10 perfume. It lasts all day, like two, six sprays. Holy cow, it's going to last forever. If you spray it six times, it might be too much for some people, but of course I'm gonna mention Deep and Desire Yacht. The next one I was so excited to get, I another one I blind bought, another one that worked out. It's called Crumb Couture, it's called Crumb Couture, and it's by a Sniff, and this, this is the most gourmand of them all. This is the most foodie of them all. This is the most amazing fragrance if you love like a blueberry croissant, or if you want to smell like a blueberry croissant. Since a lot of these are fairly new to my collection, I don't know all the notes by, I don't know all the notes per se. And I don't think that this one actually mentions blueberry specifically. And I'll put the notes up like I always do. But this is a blueberry, fruity, jammy, compote croissant. It's sweet, it's buttery, it's foodie. It has a very rich, decadent vanilla. If you don't wanna smell like the most buttery, fruity, blueberry croissant with compote, don't go near this one. <laughs> to me, it's like blueberry sticks out the most. It's very sticky, like the fruit is, oh gosh. It's so frickin' decadent. This is like sticking your nose in the best bakery in France. This thing is like beyond mind-blowing as far as deliciousness is concerned. This is what's gonna get people. It just has no lasting power. It's just too darn beautiful to not last. It doesn't last forever, so it's a big bummer. I wish this would last forever. And for that reason, I have been wearing it kind of at night delicious oh and i'm gonna have and i have some blueberry body products i'll mention at the very end that i've been layering so i do wear this one with some blueberry body products but the most delicious unbelievable decadent gourmand this has such a buttery note gourmand so if you don't like to smell like food this might not be your thing but if you're like me and you really love literal gourmands this is delicious one mm. So I'm going to go in a different direction. Moving out of the overly gourmand blueberry fragrances is another one I was super excited about. I'm going to put the name below because some of you don't like the way I pronounce French names. <laughs> so even though this is gourmandy in, in the way that it is a beverage, it smells like a beverage, this smells like a crystalline blueberry tea. Like a cool, ice-cold sparkling, citrusy, blueberry tea. This has, I know this has pomelo in it, and pomelo kind of smells like an apple and grapefruit together. So take your tea, take your delicious, ice cold, crystalline, sparkling blueberry tea, and add a pomelo slices. This is light wearing, it is a lighter fragrance. It's not a heavy gourmand, but the longevity is pretty good. So it's light wearing, light scent bubble, but pretty good longevity. And it does get a little bit denser in the dry down. There's a little bit of wood and just the teensiest bit of leather. So this is solidly unisex in my opinion, but a fantastic fragrance with the note of blueberry. All right, a quick battery and positional change. And the next one I have is one by Demite, and this is just called Blueberry. This one, in my opinion, is in between a blueberry muffin and a blueberry chewing gum. So it's sweet and gourmandy and has, you know, it has a nice powdery sweetness in the dry down, 
like I'm like a broken record like all Demetes you know their strength isn't longevity they are not the longest wearing fragrances the positive is that they are very affordable I want to say I paid I don't know maybe 25 30 dollars for this pretty big bottle four ounces and this could be a perfect layering fragrance if you want to add a blueberry component to your perfumes this is a good way to do it and it's not going to break the bank so it'll amp up the blueberry or it will add a blueberry aspect to a fragrance if that's what you're looking for am i going to keep this in my collection i don't know probably not i'm not reaching for it i use my blueberry body products and fragrances that have a nice blueberry note but if i had a smaller collection i didn't want to buy a bunch of perfumes but i wanted to add that little blueberry note here and there this one's a great option okay so that does it for full that does it for my full bottles i have four little samples that do have a note of blueberry and i'm going to talk about why i don't have the full bottle and if i'm ever going to get the full bottle the next one is amethyst by lalique and i did a head-to-head -head comparison between this one and meliora by parfums de marley i prefer meliora but they are very similar fragrances they have the same perfumer i'm pretty sure it's natalie lorson so you don't need both it's one or the other a young co-worker of mine who is just starting out doesn't have a huge perfume budget she is loving amethyst but amethyst isn't a solidly blueberry perfume it's more of a dark berry fragrance so it's got lots of dark berries it's got blueberries blackberries i think there's like a huckleberry strawberry and and to me it also has like the stems and the leaves of those plants like you just smashed them together making wine so it does have a a very leafy stemmy type of an aspect that is not present in Meliora it's more green it has more you know it's more stemmy it, I really feel like I can smell kind of the stems and the and the leaves of those particular plants and fruits and it has some nice florals in the background but the reason why I don't own amethyst and I will link down I'll try to remember to link my video if you want to hear if you want to hear me talk more in depth about amethyst but a perfume a really good perfume a really good cheapie that has the note of blueberry. The next one is a sample that I was given by a subscriber when I first started. It's Bleecker Street by Bond Number no. 9. And this is a perfume that I will not get the full bottle of, not because I hate it, but I just love so many other perfumes. And it just, you know, it's not a love. It's a, I would say it's a perfumey version of a blueberry. It's fresh, it's green, it's a little mossy. Get my, uh, Yeah, very, very green, fresh, musky. Pretty sure it has oak moss in it. So not very gourmand at all. The blueberry to me is not prominent at all. It's not a star player, it's not even a supporting role. I'd say it's way in the background. But since I have the sample, I wanted to give it a quick mention. The next one is another one that I have a sample of that I will not be getting a full bottle of. And I have been asked specifically over on Instagram if I had this perfume and does it smell like blueberries? And it is. Ego Stratus by Juliet has a gun. This is a very pleasant perfume. This is a very likable, fresh fragrance and is the least blueberry forward of all the perfumes. This is a, a very aquatic take on a per, this is an aquatic fragrance. It has a very fresh, kind of like a molecular oceanic vibe to it. So very unisex. Um, and I also think it has ambroxan in here. I, I hardly detect the blueberry at all. And maybe because I just have so many perfumes that have a very strong note of blueberry while wow, this isn't jumping out at me. But a nice fragrance, unisex, definitely unisex. Some people think these aquatic fragrances lean masculine. I don't think that, but I know a lot of people that do. But a fresh, oceanic, molecular, ambroxany aquatic take on a fragrance with blueberry. Okay, one that, this is now my third, I don't need to, uh, my third little tiny dabber sample of this one, and I'm going to put the name up because it's hard to pronounce, and I keep going back and forth. I remember thinking about purchasing this like two to three years ago, and I'm glad I didn't because it's expensive, it's not cheap, and I like so many of my fragrances more. So this has blueberry, there's a booziness, there's some chocolate in here. And it did not smell like the notes portray. Like I thought I was gonna love this. It's gonna be very gourmandy. It smells like cantaloupe melon to me. So cantaloupe, melon, blueberry and chocolate. It's just not a combo that really appeals to me. So this is my last little decant and I will not be getting another one. I am 
firmly in the camp that believes I don't need the full bottle, but an interesting one for some of you guys, I wanted to mention it. And one that I will mention, the big one that's missing that I know a lot of you are going to ask me about, particularly if you're new to my channel, and if you are, welcome, thank you, is uh, Poets of Berlin. Surprisingly, that did not work out for me at all. I didn't get blueberry muffin at all. Didn't get it. Don't want to say what I got because I know a lot of people love it. And that's great if it works out for you. It's a, I can see how it's a fabulous perfume and a cheaper version of that or more affordable version is by Floral Street. It's called Wild Orchid Vanilla, I believe. That, those two smell almost identical. I bought that blindly not knowing that they smell alike and they do. But yeah, that also has a blueberry note, has blueberries, tea, bamboo, and could be a great could be a great fragrance for the right person. It just wasn't me, and that's why you will not see it today. Now I wanted to quickly cover my body products. Holy cow, do I have some serious body products. The first one is, it's a body oil, and I got it from Royal Personage, and I will list, of course, I'm gonna list everything down below. This is from Etsy. This is Blueberry Cheesecake Body Oil. Holy cow. This thing is nuclear. So if you want to, if you want to really bring out the blueberry, <laughs> Put this on first and then layer your perfumes. This thing is going to last forever. I mean, like two to four dabs, it's gonna last you forever. I mean, 40 years, I'm gonna be taking this to the nursing home with me. <laughs> I'm gonna have share it and have leftovers. So yeah, this is a good one if you're really looking for it. And it was affordable. I, <laughs> I can't remember what I paid for it, but I wanna say less than $20. And then um, I didn't bring it out because I have it next to my bathtub, but they also make like a body polish or like a foaming soap like a salt soap it's it's actually quite good i do love that i will list it down below then we have a couple products from a, a company that i love i found on etsy it's bath time confections you've heard me talk about them so they have a um, they have a body butter which is really good it's really good and i love the consistency of their products and their scents are terrific i'm still working my way through their website and then i have a whip soap that's what i'm thinking whip soap this whip soap is bomb. It's so good. It's delicious. I love using the whip soap. It doesn't, like the scent from the whip soap doesn't last forever at all, but it's just very pleasant. And then the last one, oh my gosh, this smells like, it's called Booberry Body Butter, and it's by Rosella's Radiance. I haven't loved everything from her line, but boy do I love this one. And I love her banana body butter that I'm gonna talk about in a few days. Oh my gosh, banana bread body butter to die for. But anyways, this one's booberry and this smells like booberry Captain Crunch. <laughs> so good. I'm going to layer this with my new accident a la Benite, the one that smells like Captain Crunch. Oh my gosh, this is so good. The scent, this scent doesn't last forever and this is very, very emollient. It's got that, the body butter in here is really like that. It's very, very, it gives you that sheen. It's very thick and heavy. Whereas this one wears more lightly, like a, like a light body butter, in between a body butter and a body lotion. You know, sometimes I'm not looking for something this thick and I want something more light wearing, particularly when it's hot outside. So, ooh, that was it, my second video of the day. I made it without melting into a little ball of body butter. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for sticking around. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying my single note fragrance reviews. I understand that they're not quite as popular. You know, people like really like the big categories, but this is really helpful for to me, and I've had some good feedback that a lot of you are, are enjoying that. So coming soon is going to be mango and strawberry, unless you guys want to vote on my community post and change the order. I think I also have raspberry there. Definitely bananas happening. We're going to hit some florals, and if there are other notes that you want to hear me talk about, let me know down below. Thanks again for sticking around. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all your support to all of you who show up, watch my video to completion. <laughs> Give me a like and chit chat with me in the comments. And with that, thank you. And I will see you on the next one.